um, Sun and Leo people. Okay, um, Leo is ruled by the sun. Uh, what's exalted here? I think Nep Neptune. Neptune. Uranus. And, uh, I want to say Neptune. For Neptune is exalted. But see, them, them outer planets, it ain't really no such thing as exaltation when you're dealing with the three outer planets because they so high anyway, they exalted in all the goddamn signs, to tell you the truth. But um, we're going to get to this motherfucking, um, motherfucking sun sign Leo. You know what I'm saying? The sun, uh, what's the sun? The sun is your actions, and, and the sun rules Leo. So um, basically, these people get attention even when they're not trying to get attention. And um, it may be attention that they like. It may be attention that they don't like. But it's going to be attention. And even even if they're not getting attention, and, and their actions is predicated on their getting attention. So they're going to always be thinking that they are getting attention, even when they ain't. So the actions are predicated on that. So it's like they're going to they're gonna think, say, say a, a Leo is at a club, right? And a Leo needs to go to a bathroom. They're going to think that everybody is looking at them on their way walking to the, the bathroom. Now, even if people ain't looking at them, it's a certain walk that they're going to do to confirm that, yeah, look, I'm the one that's going to the bathroom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like... It's weird because they always have a thought and in, in so many ways it's, it's different entities and beings in, from the universe that is looking at a Leo. And Leo's, Leo's are able to um, put into action um, leadership qualities just because they're ruled by the sun. Now, this is, this is, this is the thing right here. You may, you may be a Leo and you may be poor at leadership skills, but your poor leadership skills is in a leadership position like people look forward to giving you advice to lead yeah you know i said people look forward to you like say you're a person who don't know how to lead people look forward to following you to a place that you know you don't know how to lead like that would be the talk of the conversation like this nigga don't know where he be going let's look it's like the sunlight is on you so what you do with it is on you so um, a lot of people, they may come across uh, Leos, they may come across as uh, uh, generous because in their head, they feel like, okay, I'm getting this attention. So the people who, who give me the amount of sincerity, because attention don't always have to do with people looking at you or just that. It's since, attention is sincerity, basically. When someone is sincere around you, like real around you, and you can feel that they real, you're going to want to be genuine to this person because you feel a sense of, um, a person, you, you feel a sense of generosity. Like you have to be generous to a certain degree if you're a person that's regal. Like if you're a person that's, uh, if you're a person that's, like, okay, for an example, okay, Sun, sun Sign Leo's, right? They, 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 their actions is based on being center stage. So, a lot, so when you come across a Leo who don't like to be center stage, uh, they make that known. Like, nah. N so they're center stage for that. They're center stage for not wanting to be center stage. So when a person be like, um, hey yo, we ain't gonna go pick him up because we know, we know. He don't want to, he, he don't like going out. So we're going to go chill with him when we're not going to go out. Boom. That's that Leo friend that they talking about. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, uh, Leos know how to, they're, they're the lovers of the Zodiac. Same as cancers. This little, this little cancer, um, Leo thing is, is, uh, it's a heavy emphasis on love because by the time Venus gets to Virgo is in its fall. So the little bit of, the little bit of Venus left that travels through Cancer and Leo, they suck it all up. So by the time Venus gets into Virgo, it's like, it's like, it's no love lost, no love there. So it's all based on how you intellectually think love should be. But the last scoopings of love, 
was generated by the cancer in Leo. So they overemphasize it because they they feel the emptiness, the emptiness of it. So cancers feel like they have to express uh express a caring because they feel like no one else will. Leos have to be uh generous and let everyone share the light because they feel like it may not be enough light, you know what I'm saying? But that just comes from Venus. Those aspects. It comes from v Venus being in the last two houses before it actually falls and then there's no love and then after that you have to think about what love should be they they're there they scooped up the last feeling of it and since it's so low that they overemphasize it with their with their moon and sun so when the sun is in leo uh they act on these qualities so they may come across like they're being bossy or they're trying to use you to do something for their intent but Naturally, that might that may not be the the, co the cause. It may just be that they're actually trying to include you, but what they're trying to include you in is is so self-absorbed that it may come across that they're trying to include you for what they're trying to do. But really, they just trying to include you in the in the actual sunlight. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what they're just trying to do. They're just trying to include you into the actual sunlight, and they already feel like they have the most light on something. Like it may be somebody who come across that's better at them at doing something, but the Leo sun sign act accordingly. Their actions will be based on, but I know the most light of that situation. That person may be better than me, but I know why, and I'm gonna do what I do to shine my best way. So when they get around group settings, they like to express that that period. So them expressing that may make people think that they're coming across controlling, but really they're just they're just trying to share what they already feel. And since it's the sun, it's so it's enormous already. You know what I'm saying? So like where where Aries, since the sun is exalted in Aries, where Aries may try to lead, people may let Leos lead. You know what I'm saying? Like, say it's a group. It's a it's a group thing, right? And you have an Aries in the front right here, and you have a Leo in the front right here. People may agree on the Leo to go ahead and lead, and the Aries may be the one to persist that no, I'm gonna lead. You know what I'm saying? And the Leo may sit there and be like, well, you know what? It's over exaggerated. The sun over exaggerated. Where you at, Aries? Go ahead and lead. Show us what you do. And then that quality still makes people want to look at the Leo like, well, see, the Leo is generous. I still want to follow the Leo. And this this makes the Aries look at the Leo like, what the fuck do you possess that I don't possess? And and it's a competition always with the Aries that doesn't really need to be there. You know what I'm saying? This is why Aries and Leos may clash all the time. They may clash a lot. But when they when they get over the the... And, and start to understand where they're both coming from, then they both know how to work together. You know what I'm saying? But uh, this is this is where the charm of Leo of being and the sun being home here. This, the, it doesn't actually have to go nowhere or do anything extraordinary to be the leader. You know what I'm saying? As of Aries has has to come up with this super new, unique, super thing to be the leader. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's that's Leo here. And I didn't want to do too much comparing. I really wanted to talk about the innate traits, which is uh, you know, being being uh being cool, calm, cool and collected and into your into your back get stroked. Now, when you get stroked, you're going to lash out because you you feel like you feel like how can how this person dare talk to me like that when all I think about is being generous to every fucking body. You know what I'm saying? And when when you get that intensity build it up, you you will lash out. You know what I'm saying? It could be very extreme for people because you don't show extremes. So when when someone push you to show an extreme, it's a goddamn extreme. You feel me? Sun sign of Leo, motherfucker. Flight boss bitch.